Diana, you're chasing the story of a giant intern. What do you got? That's right, Bill. Spotted inside the wealth manager offices of Mark Doman here in New York City. It's New York Giant star Jonathan Casillas. What's this linebacker doing here? Hi, I'm Jonathan Casillas, captain of the New York Giants, and I'm here interning for the Dome The average athlete will make more in one season than most of us do in our entire lives. But according to one research, 78% of NFL players will blow it all. It doesn't freak me out, you know. Um, I figure, you know, right now where I'm at, um, you know, going into my ninth year in the league and um, having, a, I guess, a pretty decent contract in the last few years and uh, having a good team, you know, figuring out, um, you know, where I, where I want to go after ball. That's kind of where I'm at right now. So what does a typical day look like for CS? Sometimes I sit down and I'm trying to learn more about the stock market and fixed income, mutual funds and stuff like that. Um, so I just listen to them talk. It's really not part of our official internship program. These are clients. These people have assets that we manage. And so we give them an open door policy. So they're not taking the place of another collegiate or graduate student. Uh, they come and go as they please. It's ultimately their money. And we want to give them as much access and transparency to understanding their money. Just looking over it from 2016. Now, if we compare the spending from 2015, well, I can tell you, obviously, it's going in the right direction. Like, good for this guy. This is one of the smartest things that I've seen. Uh, I am always haunted by the story of William Refrigerator Perry, who won a Super Bowl in 1985 with the Chicago Bears, ended up working construction, ended up having to sell his Super Bowl ring, and there's just stories like that, hundreds of them all the time. You hear about athletes that had it all, and then they lost it all. Even if you have a long, productive NFL career, maybe you're retired by the time you're 28 or 30. And if you don't plan your money wisely during the years where you're most likely to be reckless with your money, you're gonna end up being broken. That's why this happens constantly. Yeah, I mean, I think the person we can thank for really making NFL players think more about financial literacy when they have the money is um, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Uh, because that show, Ballers, shows very much what they go through. I mean, they spend a lot of money on strippers, fast cars, and huge apartments, and all that disappears, and they spend that money really fast. So financial literacy is the key.